Landing page experience is one of the key components which Google takes into account when calculating your AdWords quality score. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can improve the landing page experience for your website visitors. Hello, I'm Ozan and thanks for joining in. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can improve the landing page experience for your visitors from your Google AdWords ads. Landing page experience is one of the most important factors which Google takes into account when calculating the quality score. Obviously, this affects your uh, cost per click and the higher the quality score, the lower the cost per click. So there is a lot of savings you can make just by paying a little bit of extra uh, attention to your uh, landing pages, how you design it and how you create them. So let's open up my notepad and I'll give you some tips on how you can improve your landing pages. Okay. So the first tip is offer relevant, useful and original content. And by original, I mean, you've got to create that content yourself and don't copy it from anywhere on the internet because uh, you will get caught out and it's not nice to copy somebody else's work as, as simple as that. It is as good as stealing from someone else. So always create your own content. Um, make sure that your landing page is relevant to your ad text and keyword. So whatever you are promoting or advertising on your ads, it has got to be the same product or service on your uh, landing page. Don't drive somebody to another landing page because they will end up getting frustrated and they're going to click away from your website and it would have cost you money uh, on that click and you won't get that conversion from that visitor. So make sure that you always have um, the keyword, the text on the ads and the landing page highly knitted and the same. Be specific when the users want to want a particular thing if someone clicks on an ad so if somebody wants if you're advertising football shoes then take them to a page where you sell football shoes or a category page where you sell football shoes uh, don't take them to a page where you are selling walking shoes and, and this is quite obvious but still a lot of people make this mistake by sending them to the home page or sending them to some other uh, product pages on their uh, website provide useful information on your landing page about your product or service so offer useful features or content that are unique to your website so again it is all about uh, original content uh, be creative uh, put uh, videos uh, put PDF put text uh, you can put up an uh, audio podcast um, any kind of material which helps uh, your visitors on your website to engage uh, with your content or on your website okay so the next thing is be transparent and foster uh, trustworthiness on your website you got to make sure that the visitors to your website trust you as quickly as possible because people buy from people who they trust so you got to make sure that you need to build trust and in my humble opinion a video builds up a trust the quickest and the fastest way so i would highly recommend that you add videos or start to add videos onto your landing page um, share information about your business and clearly state what your business does Explain your products or services before asking visitors to fill out any forms or before you want them to take any call to action. Make it easy for visitors to find your contact information. Now, I'm quite big on uh, putting up contact information on the landing pages. A lot of web pages I see don't have any postal address or a telephone number um, because that does not... Uh, give me any confidence because I don't know where that company or that person may be 
and if I have a problem I don't have any way to uh, get in touch with them so just putting in your postal address and a telephone number increases the likelihood of a conversion um, I, I appreciate that you may be working from home so don't put up the home uh, the address number uh, put a put up your street name a city town and the country and at least put something or you can get a postal uh, of a post uh, address from a post office or PO boxes addresses and put them up but do put up your contact information because it is um, quite important uh, to build up that uh, trusting relationship with your uh, visitors and if you are requesting personal information from your customers or visitors make it clear why you're asking for it and what you're going to do with it so you need to have uh, privacy policies on your uh, website and terms of use as well so a couple of uh, legal pages on your website again builds up trust and always if you have an opt-in box where you're asking somebody to fill in their name email address etc then always uh, have a little uh, line at the bottom under the uh, submit button that you always respect uh, their privacy and you never sell your information and again don't ever sell your databases to anybody uh, no matter what because this is uh, your data somebody has trusted you given you the details so you must never uh, uh, go back on that trust the third thing which I would highly recommend is or oh, the yes I don't know what's happened over here with the numbering okay that's the second and now it's the third one yeah is make your website or your landing page secure with um, an SSL certificate so it's that little padlock which shows uh, next to the HTTPS um, so instead of HTTP it will be HTTPS so make sure that your website is secure the fourth one is all about um, navigation so if you do have navigation on your uh, landing page or website then make sure that you design your uh, navigation bar in such a way that it is very easy for someone to navigate around your website uh, don't make it too confusing and different navigations on different pages um, I'm a big fan of keeping it simple and just have a, a navigation bar right along the top where it can uh, be accessed from or from any pages on on the website and make it quick and easy for people to order the product or service which you mentioned in in your ad show them that product or service up front don't make them hunt around look around as to you know where the hell is that product or service uh, which you promised on that ad because they've seen your ad they've clicked on your ad and now they're on your landing page or website so you got to just make it crystal clear and it within a matter of seconds they should be able to uh, see your offer the last thing is to make your loading page of your uh, website or your um, landing page uh, really fast so you've got to have fast loading uh, web pages so don't go for the cheapest hosting options that is one of the most uh, important things when it comes to landing page experiences anything about five seconds or six seconds um, of page load times you're going to start losing uh, customers or visitors from your web page and they're going to bounce off people don't want to hang around they want the web page to load up very quickly especially on the smartphones uh, make sure that your uh, web website or landing pages uh, mobile friendly and responsive and the new thing which Google is pushing uh, very much is the AMP these are the accelerated mobile pages I'm not going to go into a huge uh, amount of details on AMP you can Google it and see what it is all about 
but that is what Google is pushing quite a lot and you will start to see especially in the Google uh, search pages amps uh, rank very high so you start looking at creating AMP pages for your uh, websites as well. So these are some of the things which will make your visitors uh, journey or visit to your website uh, a pleasant one and improve the landing page experience for your visitors. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like me to create uh, videos like this one uh, for you, then put in the comment box below any questions or problems you may have and I will try my best to create one for you. I thank you for your time. I really do appreciate it very much and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.